again everybody and welcome to my drawing of Caesar. The reference photo that I've chosen is from the War of the Planet of the Apes and I chose a reference photo that was him looking quite old. I thought it would work really well on charcoal. I started off with a graphite block just quickly mapping out the edge of the face so that when I draw his features in I can get him in proportion so they look right and also so I don't get overzealous and make the face too big so it goes off the page. What you see me do right now is I shade out all the area with a really lightweight pencil. And you do this so you can easily rub it out and make changes on the fly so you get all the proportions in the right place. Then what I do is I switch it out for a more mid-range pencil like a HB and start shading over the same areas again. And once I'm done with the HP, I would switch it out for the 2B and go over again, but gradually getting darker where the shadows would be, adding a stronger value. And then I switched out for a 5B, then an 8B. When you start using the 8B, that's where you add all the details. This will also reduce any sheen from your graphite because you've built up your darks using different weights of pencil in a systematic way. Once your eyes are drawn in with a good level of detail, this is where I would pick up a makeup brush and start smudging with the graphite around the page to create nice transitions from dark to light. And because the makeup brush push the graphite around the page so softly you can use a rubber as a tool to lift the graphite up to create the harsh lighting that you can see in the bags under his eyes. I've also used this method in the wrinkles under his eyes that all chimps seem to have. It's also been introduced in the frown and it really makes that scowl stand out. The lighting in this area will only intensify further once I block in the surrounding areas like the fur, the nose and the eyes because your dogs make your lights. Now I'm blocking out his mouth and the stubble pattern under his nose before I start to use the charcoal. The reason why I switched out to charcoal is because it's very good in making a nice rustic style to hair and even though Caesar is a very well groomed chimp he is an old man and I wanted that fact to be emphasised in my style of drawing why I switched the charcoal instead of pencil is because it gives you the ability of speed when you're blocking out hair which is always useful it also allows you to go straight black without using different weights to build up your darks like you would with a pencil before you use your rubber to create highlights on your strands of hair, giving you a nice semi-realistic feel to the rest of the drawing. To accomplish this, I don't draw in every strand of hair. I see the darks and lights as shapes and draw them in how I see them on the reference photo. Because I'm drawing a rustic style to the hair, I skip on certain details and let a person's mind fill in the blanks at this point. What you've got to remember is that a person will always be drawn to the eyes on a portrait. That's why I added so much detail with the pencil in the first place. This allows me to be so semi-realistic with the rest of the drawing because a person's mind isn't going to pick up on it allowing me to be more artistic with the rest of the drawing. My drawing of Caesar is about to finish. If you've enjoyed watching, please like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. Also, you can watch my previous works like the Captain America watercolour or the Hulk watercolour. Yeah, thanks for watching.